Hi, I'm Ryan from BuildExact, and I'll be discussing the integration between BuildExact and Deputy and how this can be used to streamline the process of recording labor costs through the use of Deputy timesheets, which record labor hours for your crew and then feeds that information back into BuildExact. We're going to first begin with an overview of the integration. We will then discuss how to establish the connection between BuildExact and Deputy. We will then run through how to link jobs that you are running in BuildExact to Deputy. And finally, we're going to have a look at Deputy itself and how to get set up. As an overview of the integration between BuildExact and Deputy, we can have a look at this flowchart which shows the process between the two systems. All of the items in orange are BuildExact and the blue items are Deputy. Now it all starts with BuildExact where you will create a job and that job will have a number of different cost categories within it. The first thing we do is push that job across to Deputy to create what it calls a location and areas within that location. Now you can think of the location as the job and the areas as cost categories within that job. You'll be able to choose what areas get created in Deputy so as not to confuse the guys on site with heaps of different cost categories to record their hours in. Once it goes into Deputy, you can choose which of your crew are able to log hours into that specific job. BuildExact will hold the rates that your workers are on and will be feeding that back to BuildExact so we will have a contact stored for each of your staff members that are included on the deputy side. When your staff then create timesheets, they will be recording their hours worked in the areas or cost categories that we pushed into deputy. So for example, they'll be able to say, hey, I did six hours of framing and two hours of demolition work. The timesheet is then approved in deputy. And once that happens, we push it back into build exact as a completed work order that then updates the cost tracking section. Now, another thing to note is that Deputy is able to further integrate into payroll software. It is something that Deputy does separate to build exact. However, it is good to know. So we've included it here uh, just as a reminder. So now we're going to talk about how to connect build exact with Deputy. And to do this, we're going to start from our build exact account and head down to the integrations tab. You'll find deputy uh, listed in the application integrations, and we're simply just going to hit connect here. Now there's actually been a step that's been skipped as I'm already logged into deputy on another tab. Uh, if I wasn't, it would basically ask me to sign into deputy using my username and password, and then you'll arrive at this screen. It's basically asking you uh, to select which deputy account you want build exact to connect with. Uh, as I've only got one, it's pretty simple. I'm going to select my deputy account, scroll down and hit allow access. It's then going to have a think for a minute and then push me back into build exact. And that's it. We're now connected. Uh, one Key thing to note as we are on this screen is how often Deputy syncs information to Build Exact, and this occurs automatically every hour. I uh, should also note that there is a Sync Now button that you can use to manually sync across anything entered into Deputy immediately, which I'll be using during this video just to make things happen straight away. Now that Deputy is integrated with Build Exact, we are going to look at linking jobs in Build Exact to Deputy itself. Now to do this, I'm going to go into one of my estimates that I prepared earlier, and I'm going to create a job from this estimate so that we can go through the process of telling build exact which cost categories to send into deputy and uh, ensure that it all goes into deputy correctly. All right, so we're on the job details uh, page at the moment as we've just created the job and uh, First thing that you'll notice is I have a work location in here. I'm just pointing that out because it is necessary uh, for the creation of the link between Buildings Act and Deputy for the work location to be populated. If the work location is not filled in, you won't be able to create the link. So just keep that in mind. I've now got the option uh, down here to link this job to an existing deputy location. And again, location is just a deputy term for a job or a job address. 
I've also got the option of creating a new deputy location, which is 99% of the time what you'll be wanting to do. So I'm going to hit create location here. Uh, it'll ask if I am sure and yep, that's exactly what we're doing. So I'm going to hit confirm. And now we've basically created uh, that deputy location uh, from this job. So step two, we are now going to send across the cost categories to deputy that we want our workers to record their hours into. Now, by default, we don't send any across. Uh, so we now need to select manage deputy areas. This will basically show you a list of all the cost categories uh, that has come from the job. Uh, we have the option of linking each of these categories with an existing de deputy area, but in almost all situations, what you want to do is hit create deputy area on each of the cost categories you want your workers to record their hours in. Uh, as a prime example, if I'm running carpenters, I'm going to create deputy areas for uh, frame carpenter. And I might also create one for doors and robes, as these are the cost categories I want my workers to record their hours in. So really just thinking here about what categories you want the guys on site to see. And generally, less is more to keep things simple. Now, I'm going to jump back into the integrations menu here and just quickly hit the sync now button. Uh, just to push the information straight away into Deputy so that we can then see what it looks like on the Deputy side of things. So I'm going to head into Deputy. I'm going to go to the Locations tab here, and you'll see that my job has come through. I can now go and hit Edit Settings, and I'm just wanting to check that the cost categories that we selected have pulled through. So I'm going to Areas here. And we'll see that frame carpenter and doors and robes have pulled through from build exact uh, and they're now areas in deputy which is ideal you can also go to general here and just double check the address of the location uh, which is correct one point of note is that deputy will create this unique location code uh, it's a rather truncated version of the job number that's pulled through from deputy you can actually change this to whatever you want. And as a bit of a tip, we often advise people to change it to the job number in total, uh, which will make it a lot easier when your workers are actually recording their hours in um, against timesheets for this particular job. So I'm just going to hit save there. And we're now going to have a look at the people side of things in Deputy, how to get your crew set up. So heading to people here. Uh, we can see that at the moment, I'm the only person that is on the list of uh, workers, and that's because I'm the system administrator. To add your crew into Deputy, you can come up here to the Add People tab, select that, and then click on Add Team Member. Uh, the idea here is to fill out their general information, and uh, once that contact information has been uh, filled in, you'll then be able to invite the worker to Deputy by hitting Add Team Member. Once that's completed, they will then be appearing on the list here. Now, in terms of getting your workers set up, once they are on the list, you can come across and select Edit Employment across the right there. This will enable you to set uh, two very important things, the first being their pay rates. So you can certainly enter in their weekday, Saturday, Sunday, and public holiday rate, uh, which is rather important as when timesheets are submitted, the value of their hours will flow across to build exact. Another key thing to note is how to assign your workers to the job that you've created. So next to the works at uh, detail here, I'm just gonna hit add location and assign this worker to the job. Once that's done, I can hit save, and that worker is now assigned to the job that we've pulled through. Now, in terms of how Deputy records timesheets, there are several ways to do this. Uh, Deputy has a timesheet app for mobile, which your crew can use. They can clock in or clock out on the app. They can record their hours after they've worked and submit timesheets, allocating hours to the different areas that we've pulled through. Uh, and we actually have a great series of help articles on the deputy side of things uh, that you can access from the Build Exact application. And basically to do this, you click on need help. You can search for this article, Build Exact and Deputy. 
uh, down the bottom of this article after the general information that a lot of which we've touched on today. Uh, there's a great article about how to actually capture timesheets via the deputy app. So well worth a look uh, if you're interested. Certainly there's uh, a great uh, amount of detail about the benefits of, of using the apps for your crew. You can also record timesheets uh, from the deputy uh, platform itself, and we'll have a look at how to do that. So I'm just going to head to timesheets, click on approve timesheets here. And what I'm going to do now is go to add timesheet. So you can select the team member, select the date of the shift. As an example, I'll just uh, use today's date, hit add timesheet. And this is where you're able to actually select the areas of work that uh, the worker had hours in. Uh, and in this case, you'll see the unique ID that we entered in, making it a bit easier to find uh, the specific areas next to that job. So I'm just going to allocate uh, four hours as an example into Frame Carpenter, so that I worked from uh, eight o'clock in the morning till midday, may have had a 15 minute break. And I'm just going to hit approve and next. And that's pretty much it. So now, Let's head back to build exact to see what happens next. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually hit the sync now button to make sure the info from deputy that we just entered in comes across straight away. And now I'm going to head to the job specifically. So the Shannon Street job here. And what I'm going to look for is how that timesheet looks when it comes through to build exact. And it basically comes through as a work order recording the internal labor costs. I'm just going to click into it so we can have a, a bit of a view of it. So that uh, that four hours minus the uh, the break that I've, I've put in has come through as a completed work order. It tells me in the description uh, who was the worker, what date was that I uh, did my work. Uh, it's going to indicate that it's been imported from deputy. And uh, it's basically going to show the quantity and the, the cost of my pay rate, which was set in deputy, and the total cost of that shift. Uh, one thing that's quite important to note is it's assigned those hours of work to the category of frame carpenter, so to that cost category. And if we go into the actual costing screen, uh, which is where our cost tracking is displayed, we'll see that the cost categories have been updated with this timesheet information. So in this case, under frame carpenter. Note that it's created a new line in the category up the top here. When we assign a category, it creates a new line. So do keep that in mind. Sometimes our users will have a separate category just for deputy. Uh, for example, framing labor as a category with the understanding that the category will be filling up with uh, timesheets. So if you find that having a heap of lines adding in is not to your liking, uh, consider having a dedicated labor category as it's a common way our users manage timesheets and labor costs. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out via the need help button where you can browse articles, chat with our support team. And yeah, we're always here to help.